So yesterday I went on a long walk uh, into the countryside near where I live and I was super lucky in just spontaneously pointing this thing which is a vintage, will you focus? Probably not. Uh, it seems to have done so. A vintage Fujinon uh, 200mm Prime um, and I was just suddenly saw a kite hunting at least 200 maybe 300 meters away so I pointed the camera at it and thought I'll have a go at filming it and that was an accident uh, in that I thought I was filming it in normal video 4k and actually I had the camera set in slow-mo and I thought oh dear this is all a bit of a mess and I won't have captured the bird but actually uh, magic happened, uh, the uh, in-body stabilisation on the camera smoothed it out enough. This lens at f8, even though it's vintage, uh, with this um, K and F adapter on it, captured really well, even at uh, 1080p, so I've, I've, uh, I was just amazed, I was excited that uh, you could just spontaneously capture something like that. So I'm being spontaneous now and just set the camera up, uh, auto everything to, 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 rather than setting up something fancy. So I would like at some point to review this lens. It's, it's been a game changer for me because I know people say that uh, shooting with primes is, is very different to shooting with a zoom and yeah, you have to really think how you might capture something but when you have this, when I have this, it's really changed what I can do for what was it in fact a really cheap lens. So anyhow, all that I've done with this video is scale it up, of course put it into the HDR pipeline because it was captured in F log 10 bit and then put on um, a colour grading using a LUT, which I demonstrated some of those LUTs, the, the, the HAL C LUTs. This one I call sepia warm, which uh, sepia saturated rather, which I think really brings out the, the warmth in the countryside and the colours in the bird. And that's all I have to say. So I'm going to stick the video, I've made it into a music video based on a piece of music I made a while ago called Kites Over Water. That's going on my music channel and now I'm just going to put the same thing on the end here. Enjoy or not, thanks for watching. 